Hey there, Girl Scouts. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you are having an amazing day and you are enjoying our virtual STEM Expo as much as we enjoyed putting on this event for you. A special thank you to our friends over at SMUD for helping us make this a possibility today. Also, do not forget to do your surveys after each webinar. You do get a 20% off coupon for doing those surveys from our Girl Scout store and our Girl Scout online website. So be sure to complete those after each webinar. Also, if you haven't heard this already, or maybe you forgot, we are having a photo contest. So be sure to check your email or your, have your parents check their email for more contest rules. You can get entered to win a Girl Scout t-shirt. So be sure to check that out as well. And welcome. <laughs> we are going to be doing an activity today. Uh, we're gonna be doing two activities. The first one is going to be a mechanical engineering challenge, which is going to happen shortly. And then we are gonna be doing outdoor arm maker. So make sure to come back again to do the, the second activity later. All right, well, you enjoy. In this video, we are going to need a small piece of cardboard, four cardboard cutout wheels, a scissors to actually do the cutting. I pre-cut this just for the sake of time. Some tape, a large skewer or two small skewers, some straws. Uh, you can use one straw. I found this in my drawer somewhere. <laughs> and a pencil. All right, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our skewer and we're gonna measure out what our skewer is supposed to look like. Here you want to measure um, some space between your your stick and the end of your cardboard. This is gonna be a simple car. You can definitely decorate it afterwards. So make sure you leave some space here and here because the wheels are going to attach to the sides of the skewer and you wanna make sure there's enough room. So now, you should make a mark similar to the one I made previously. And then you cut. If you're having trouble cutting, make sure you have an adult um, help you out. Because the splinters could get a little rough on a skewer. So make sure you ask for some help if you need it. Okay, now make sure that you clean up the edges just to make sure that you don't splinter yourself. is you don't need very much straw for this. You're gonna take a small piece of straw and you don't have to measure this out. You just need a few pieces of straw. Now we're gonna put some tape on here. Okay, you want to make sure that they are even, so that your wheels aren't crooked. And then we're going to insert our skewer, make sure it works. There you go. Perfect. So this is going to act as the base of your car. So if you flip it over, your wheels would go here and this would be the top of your car. And you can decorate this by putting a front, some doors, a back or a trunk if you wanted to make it into a truck, whatever you would like to do with that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wheels using the pointy end 
of our skewer, we're going to make a hole on our tire. And should be big enough that when we take it, we can put it right in to the other skewers, the flat edge skewers. You need to be careful when you're doing this because if you put your finger directly behind the skewer, you can hurt yourself. So again, if you need help, go ahead and ask a parent. They should be able to help you. Let's see. There's some tape in the way here. There we go. And there you have it. You have a car, but as you can see, something's definitely wrong with mine. It doesn't roll very well. So what I have to do is I have to separate my wheels a little more to make sure that they're not touching. You can easily pull the tape off and then add a new piece of tape. Let's take this tape off first. And if your car is still not working, you might want to separate your wheels a little bit on the skewer to give enough wiggle room. And it should roll. And there you have it. A simple car that you can now decorate and make your own. So this activity is good for the Daisy Car Challenge, the Mechanical Engineering uh, Car Challenge, the Brownie Mechanical Engineering Race Car Challenge, and the Junior Mechanical Engineering Balloon Car Challenge. The only difference between these challenges is that you have to progressively meet more steps so if you are a daisy, you just have to build the car and learn a little more about how cars work. Brownies, same thing. Um, and then you have to decorate it, make it your own. And um, for juniors, you add a balloon and the balloon is supposed to act as the engine for your car. So you blow up a big balloon, you place it on your car and you see if it works. If it doesn't work, then you have to manipulate the balloon to make sure that you are able to make the car go without having to push it. Awesome. So there you have it. Mechanical engineering car challenge for Daisy Brownie and Junior. Have a great day and I hope to see you back here for the next activity.